Dear May, you have been a whirlwind of a month. You have been so busy with uni work and everything coming up to the deadline. But yet, there has also been some peace and some joy and some happiness that has entered these four walls or these corridors, if you will, of my accommodation. People have come in and drunk tea and then waltzed out again but feeling happy and leaving me feeling happy and a, a sense of everything will be all right in the world. I feel like leaving you, I feel like I enjoyed you a bit more. I, I took up on what I said with April. I'm glad. <laughs> so this is a thank you, May. A me to you. May. Let's start off with books. Books have become a massive theme of this entire series and so let's start off with what I read in May. My first book was Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine. Now I had heard this from the YouTube channel Books and Quills and I have been meaning to since February try to get a hold of the book and wanted to read it basically. And so finally in this month I picked up the book and I have absolutely adored it. It's so beautiful and funny in parts and it's really really sad. There will be no spoilers in this but the basic premise of it is that Eleanor Oliphant has her routine and she has this job but the theme of it is is that she keeps herself to herself and she is lonely but she doesn't mind because this is all she's ever known and it's only until she meets this other guy who works in the IT department that we start uncovering the layers and the reasons why she's alone and what happened in her life and there's also talk about a scar as well and so we start learning about her and why her loneliness has manifested in that way and it's an important read, it's an important read because in the UK loneliness is seen as such a taboo thing to touch it is you know part of mental health in general when you're lonely but we don't like to talk about it or it's seen as a social stigma and so it's really important to sort of look at the reasons why people are left to be lonely and what can we do as people who probably don't feel this way or haven't been put in these situations to talk about or help someone or support someone during these times. You might also want to have a read because there is a really cool twist right at the end of the book and you don't know about it until the end of the book and honestly it's so good. Uh, it shocked me. Nearly threw the book halfway across the room. It shook me so much. And the second book is a book I didn't really think I'd ever pick up. Uh, my friend Natalie gave me some books because because when I like uploading a video I like to read books whilst it's uploading and I didn't have any books and I was scratching the walls like I need books I, I, I need I need them and so I asked my friend Natalie to give me some books and one of the books that she gave me was the first book in the series of a series of unfortunate events I sort of have watched the um, TV series and so I sort of kind of knew what the, the piece or the books were about. And I knew that the TV show was based off the books, but I've never read the books. And the books are actually flipping really, really short, but they're really, really good actually. And there are some bits in the book that the TV show misses out, obviously, but I think are really, really important. But I'll let you make up your own mind on whether you prefer the books or the TV show, because in my eyes, I quite like them both. I never watched a film, don't, don't get me on that, but I like the TV show on Netflix, not Spawn, and I like the books as well. And if you guys have been following me on Twitter, or sometimes on my Instagram, but more so on Twitter, and if you haven't, cheeky little, oh, cheeky little plug in the description, oh, check it out, why don't you check it out and follow me and my brain. But safe to say, everything kind of went smoothly. We created a piece, we performed that piece, and we came off feeling really happy and excited with the piece that we'd created. I'll put a little photo up of what we all looked like. We were, we were so cute and caked in blood as only, only true warrior women can be. But it was such a good experience, it was an amazing experience, and we all totally enjoyed it. And 
I never talked about the strain and the stress that we've had since February creating this piece. Honest to God, it has not been easy, but we have been so happy with what we've done with our production and I cannot wait to see what everyone brings to the table when we do our final festival in third year. Oh my god, there's a paying audience that need to see us. May, I'm sorry this is so short and you're probably sitting here thinking, I want more. Why did you give my sisters more? Why have you not done anything in my life or in my month that has been of such importance? And I can only apologise and say that I have been up the mill with deadlines and uni work and just having a gay old time <laughs> that I haven't really stopped to really think about how you must feel and how I haven't kept track or a record of what I've done and so this hasn't been so in depth. But I hope that you know that I have appreciated you this year more than words can say. And I am very grateful and thankful that you have been here as a month. If I can take anything away from this month, it's that there has been happiness and there has been warmth and people have been smiling and gracing this flat so happily that it's made me think that May was a brilliant month and if I could go back and relive some of these moments with people then I honestly would. I would turn back the clock and relive them again and again and again. I think I'm getting better. I think I think June's gonna be a good month, I hope. I'm sure June would say that. June is biased. But I think it's gonna be a good time, hopefully. So until we meet again, May, and we'll see what you can bring me next year. But until then, it has been wonderful talking and chatting to you. <laughs> With all my love, Ellie.